Yo, what's going on people? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to maintain a full length beard. Now, as you can see with mine, although I don't have the longest beard in the world, it definitely still needs a bit of maintenance here and there. So today I'm going to be showing you my routine for trimming and washing my beard and also the different types of oils I like to use and how I keep mine looking sharp. So right here we're using a trimmer to neaten the beard up. Not too much force, just hovering the trimmer and getting rid of those split hairs. Also, as you can see right here, I'm getting rid of those curly hairs growing out on the sides. And now the main point to remember if you are trimming a long length beard but you still want to keep the length, make sure you're not pressing the trimmer down. Just hover it over the hairs and slowly guide it. You can always go back and trim more if you didn't trim enough but slow and steady is the main point. And also as you can see right here, be sure to trim off an even amount on both sides. You don't want that beard to end up crooked or uneven. Now right here we're just giving the stash a bit of a trim. Unless you're going for that big mustache look which is fine. I usually like to make sure my stash isn't going over my lips so I always like to give it a bit of a lineup as you can see right here. Right here we're just trimming the unwanted neck hairs. Now I'm pulling the bottom of my beard upwards to keep the hair safe. The thing a lot of people do is trim the actual beard growing on their neckline and that's not what you want to do. The neck is what makes up a big part of your beard so outside of lining it up you want to avoid shaving it off. Now we move on to the beard shampoo. A lot of people tend to wonder why you can't use a normal soap or shampoo to wash a beard and the reason is because you lose a lot more of the beard's natural oils with a standard shampoo, whilst the beard shampoo is specially made to keep your beard healthy and soft. And now we move on to the beard conditioner. This being an optional choice, but still a great method to keep your beard moisturized and soft. After this we towel dry the beard and here I'm just doing a little extra lining up with the razor to keep the beard nice and sharp. And now we're going to move on to the oils and balms that I use. Here I'm using a special oil and balm set designed by Mobros. Starting off with the beard oil, apply 5 to 8 drops in your hand, rub it well and then spread it throughout your beard, right underneath up to the skin. You especially want to do this after washing your beard so that the natural oils are all revitalized and healthy. Next, take a pea-sized portion of beard balm and follow the same steps. The purpose of the balm being to actually shape the beard, whilst the oil's purpose is to condition it. Now the next step is blow drying the beard. Keep this to only once or twice a week to avoid damage. I start by blow drying the sides of the beard downward with my palms in order to straighten out the hair, keeping a good distance from the blow dryer on my face to avoid too much heat going onto the beard. For underneath the beard, I blow dry upwards and comb at the same time so that the beard has more of a fuller look at the front. Again, you want to keep a good distance from your beard and the dryer to avoid damage and you also want to remember that this isn't a step for every single day. You want to keep this to special occasions, you've got a date coming up, you've got a special event, stick to those times when it comes to blow drying your beard. And that's just a few basic steps for how I maintain my beard. I do hope you enjoyed this video and to all my bald bearded brothers out there, much love to you all. Peace out.